Selling vehicles online has never been so easy and intuitive. In this video, we'll help you understand how to use the VelociCast clerk screen. The clerk screen is organized to make your experience as simple as possible. It's divided into six areas. The top bar, item details, bidding, item list, lane summary, and chat. Let's look at each of these areas more in depth. The top bar contains the auction name, lane name, video indicator, and configuration gear icon. The video indicator appears red when the lane video is not running and green when it is. The lane configuration icon can be used to change basic lane settings. The item details area includes the item run number, description, lights, and other item information. If allowed by the admin, you can edit item detail values to provide real-time updates for bidders. For example, clicking on the pencil icon allows you to edit announcements and other item properties. The item details area also contains the bid history for the current item, with the most current action on top. You'll spend most of your time in the bidding area, so let's give it an in-depth look. The bid jump buttons consist of 30 buttons whose values shift dynamically, depending on the item's start price. These buttons allow you to quickly adjust the bid and are most useful when the auctioneer drops the asking price while searching for an opening bid. In addition, the clerk can change the current bid to any value by using the bid text box. The bid button is used to advance the current bid. It has three states, Choose Start, Asking, and Bidding. When a new item is displayed, the Bid button turns white with a label that says Choose Start, along with a dollar amount. During the Choose Start phase, the floor and online bidder can't see the current amount. The state changes to Asking Mode when the clerk either clicks the Bid button, clicks on a Jump button, or enters a value in the Bid text box. In Asking Mode, the current bid amount becomes visible on the floor screen and to online bidders. The bid mode changes to bidding when either the clerk clicks the bid button while in ask mode or an online user places a bid. You'll know when you're in bidding mode because the bid button will turn yellow. The current bid is advanced by clicking the bid button and the value on the button should be the amount the auctioneer is calling for. The current bid is shown in the current bid widget directly below the bid button. The bid increment buttons change the amount of the bid increment. The final state buttons are used to sell, offer, or no sale the current item. The undo button reverses the last bid or action. The floor override button changes an online bid to a floor bid. The reset button removes all bids in the bid history, causing the bidding to restart. Floor price shows the lowest price the consigner suggests the item should sell for. Pre-bid shows the number of pre-bids on the current item. Lastly, when the current item's seller or rep is online, the rep widget's color changes to orange and displays the rep's name. When a rep provides a sell decision, the rep widget will glow orange and display sell, offer, or pass. The item navigation area is used to change the current item. The left and right arrows move the current item forward and backward by one. You can also enter a run number in the run number search box or double click any row to move directly to that item. You may move an item from another lane to this lane by entering its run number in the run number search box and pressing enter. You'll receive a prompt that'll ask you if you want to move the item to this lane. Click confirm and the item will switch to your lane. The lane summary area shows statistics about the lane in real time, including the number of online bidders, items, and number of items that have run and sold. The chat function allows you to chat with bidders individually or send a global message to all bidders. To send an individual chat, simply click on a bidder's name in the bidder list. Alternatively, once a chat is started, click on their name anywhere in the chat history. Once you have selected a bidder to chat with, simply type your chat and hit enter on your keyboard to send. As each item crosses a block, 
a line is added to the chat history, including the time and item run number to give your chats context. To send a global message, first click Global from the bidder list, then either click on a pre-configured message or type a custom message and hit Enter on your keyboard to send. Global messages can be assigned shortcut keys, which are indicated in the bubble to the right of the message. Lastly, you can press a shortcut key to send a pre-configured message at any time, whether the global message list is visible or not. When you're ready to begin bidding, click on the Start Event button to activate the clerk screen. When bidding is done, click the Stop Event button to deactivate the clerk screen and let online users know the sale is over. When you press the spacebar, the cursor moves to the bid text box and the value in the text box is cleared. You can then type in a value and hit enter to change the current bid. With the spacebar and a 10 key, a clerk can very quickly enter a custom bid value. Every clerking action can be assigned to a key on your keyboard. If you prefer using a keyboard to the mouse or just want some keyboard shortcuts for a few actions, your system admin can help you set up shortcut keys. Global messages like going once, going twice, and get your bids in now can help engage users and encourage bidding activity. With Velocicast, you can create unlimited custom global messages and assign them shortcut keys. It's as simple as that.